It's super hot here. It's been kind of long and tedious, especially today. It's Thursday. So I'm glad it's Thursday evening. I'm glad tomorrow is Friday. Anyhow, I wanted to do a quick video. I've kind of started something, I guess, early last week's weekend, if you will. I tend to put on a little bit of weight in the summertime because it's so hot and my activity level really goes down. And even though I go to the gym, you know, I kind of get lazy in the gym and stuff like that. So I kind of got on this kick to where I decided I wanted to try to eat a little bit better and not consume as many calories. I mean, there's tons of different diets and stuff like that, but I think at the end of the day, you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. So for me, it's usually being more conscious of what I eat. And a big problem that I have is I really love sweets. So that's kind of been something, now that I've been doing it for a little over a week, I'm okay, but it's kind of like going through a detox or withdrawals almost when it comes to sugar. And not saying you can't have anything like that, but you just kind of have to manage them. Anyhow, so got off of work, and I needed to get a couple things. I decided to try to get a jump start on whatever I need for next week so that I don't have to go to the store every day. So I stopped by Target and this is my receipt. And I, I kind of been sales, I'm a sales shopper. I mean, it, it, not only with clothes, but also with, you know, items in general. I like to find a good sale and having a Target red debit card, which saves you 5% on your purchases. Uh, a coupon came in the mail for $5 off of 15 and there were also some cartwheels around the store and any of you who don't really know what that is target has an app you can download install it create an account and as you go through the store you can use your phone to kind of scan items and it'll tell you if there's an additional sale that they may be running on something so anyhow i want to show you guys kind of a few other things that i got and what i've been trying to do is you know you have people oh processed food is bad processed food is bad. I mean, unless you're cooking every day, going out and getting stuff, it's going to be really hard to avoid processed food. But one thing that you can do is you can look for items that are going to be more natural. So grass-fed beef, chicken that's free-range, eggs that are free-range, things like that. So I tried another brand last week. And in fact, that's kind of what got me on the kick. So this brand right here, this Eating Well brand, I found it in Target. And... It gives you 22 grams of protein, no preserves, artificial flavors, all natural chicken, and it has a cup of vegetables. And this is actually vacuum sealed, and they were on sale two for six, so actually, no, they were two for seven, so 350. And I really like this. It's the uh, creamy pesto chicken. I thought it was absolutely delicious. So this is kind of, you know, kind of spurred that on. And then I've got a couple of other ones that I got from, I think this came from Walmart. The Smart Made is actually really good. My only issue with the Smart Made is it's a really tiny portion. Um, you're getting about 220 calories. To me, this is almost like a side, but I've been doing it for lunch at work and it actually works out really well for me. So I can get full, but not like consume too much. So I've typically, most of the meals that I've been having like this, the natural stuff, it's gonna range between 220 uh, calories to maybe somewhere around 320. So that's kind of been something that's been helping me out a good bit not consuming such a vast amount of calories and trying to be more active. I've actually, last week I was able to go to the gym every day. This week I didn't really get to do that as much, but I've gone every day except I think Tuesday and Wednesday. I went early this morning. Tomorrow I'm going to probably do something after work and then the rest of the weekend I'll find something to do. It's just so hot. I really like to get outside, but when it's this hot, the heat index well over 100. It's it, I, I'm not about being outside. I, you know, I'm not about that life. Anyhow, so... The stuff that I got out of Target, this is actually Good Food Made Simple is this brand. They have a bunch of different things. They have burritos, they've got waffles and stuff like that. So that's kind of a picture of the items that they have. But this is a chicken black bean. So this is kind of a burrito bowl. So it's the burrito without burrito on it. So we've got some tomato salsa, queso fresco, white cheddar, over some cilantro lime rice. I'm really excited about that one because I like Chipotle a lot. And this is a buffalo style chicken. So it's spicy, it's got the chicken in there, it's got some mac and cheese, uh, creamy cheddar and blue cheese mac and cheese, so they kind of gave it a twist there. I feel like this one's a little bit more fat, yeah, this one's 410 calories, this might maybe like a dinner item, I probably won't do that one for lunch. And we've got a chicken, chicken enchiladas verde, so you guys know what that stuff is. Um, they actually did some, let's see, green onions, chili sour cream sauce cheddar cheese over rice so this one sounds real like it'll be really good too and this one calorie wise it's 370 so these this is this brand I'm trying this out I've never actually had these before so I'm kind of excited to see what they taste like and this is my dinner tonight I actually need to mix this up once I'm done with this video I got some ground turkey 93.7 
turkey's really lean. I started to get the nut. I didn't know there was an extra lean one that was 99.1, but I was like, you need a little bit of fat in there. And seven percent is not that much to kind of so it's not so dry because I'll mix these up. I actually use a Lipton onion soup mix, the golden onion. I was actually able to find that one again. So I put a little bit of that and some Worcestershire and soy sauce in there. And I'll probably get about three patties out of this. So that's going to be dinner, or the protein for my dinner. And I found these. I've never had them. They're veggie fries. So these are some broccoli fries. So they got broccoli, potato, and onion in them. And they made them into the shape of a fry. So I'll put these in that Cuisinart that you see back in the back. Love that thing. It's an air fryer and it's a convection oven. Really, really recommend it. So that's dinner. And I got a couple other things. Like I, I have um, e EPI, in exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. So my pancreas basically doesn't make enough of the enzyme to break down food. So stuff tends to pass through a lot quicker than it does in most people. And, and I guess it's a condition that's kind of common. But anyhow, so I don't do regular milk. I only do almond. I was doing soy, but I switched over to almond a while ago and I really love it. But I found this, it's an almond milk yogurt. So I was really excited about that. They have vanilla and it has strawberries. So I'm really excited about this to try it out. These were actually on sale. I think they were buy, buy four, get one free. And then they were also on sale for $1.39. So I got those. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but these um, good food made simple meals, they were actually on sale too. They were two for seven. Um, I think this turkey was $3.95 or $3.65, one of those two. And what else? Oh, so this has kind of been my thing that I've been doing probably for the past week or a little bit over it. I have been on a breakfast burrito kick and I've been trying to find stuff that's clean. This is the same brand, the Good Food Made Simple. So this is a chicken and apple sausage. These were on sale for like a buck sixty-eight. This is Evolve. It, it intrigued me. It's got uh, spicy uncured bacon and some egg and stuff in it. So I was really excited about that one. Got another one, uncured Canadian bacon. It's got some pepper jack cheese in it, potatoes, peppers, jalapenos, and onions. Got a smoked, oh, we got a chicken apple sausage, egg, and smoked gouda. This was a lean and fit one, so it's got caramels, onion, roast potatoes in it. So I think calorie-wise, it's supposed to be better. I got a little sandwich, which is lean and fit as well. So the chicken apple sausage, uh, egg, uh, white, and some cheddar in there. And then I got another turkey sausage one that's got Monterey, some potatoes, and peppers, and onions in it. So. I've actually really, the brand I got I think was Sweet Earth, that's the one I've been eating. It's really good, they're vegetarian and vegan and I really like them but I'm kind of, I decided to switch it up a little bit because I started feeling like I was getting a little burnt out on eating those because I've been eating them pretty much almost every single day if I don't make a smoothie. So I switched over to those. And the only other thing I got to kind of satisfy my sweet tooth, I got some Ann's Bunny Grams and these are for kids but I think they're good and they're organic, certified organic. They don't have all that GMO stuff that they're made out of. So I got a really good deal. This is probably close to $50 worth of, of products. I got all this for like $31 by the time I used my coupon. I got my cartwheel deals. Actually, the girl had to fix the pricing on the um, yogurt because it didn't ring up right. And I got my 5% for my Target debit card. Walked out spending about $31. And all of this frozen stuff, this will get me through pretty much all the next week. I'll have my breakfast. I'll have probably some dinners. I kind of, I still may have to grab a couple other things to do for lunch, but super excited about it. And I've, and for me, I've been able to kind of drop down a little bit. And it's not so much for me about losing weight as it is to tone and just, you know, get better. Cause I was starting to pick up a little bit of pudge and I actually went through and got rid of some stuff in my closet. But you know, it's, 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 it's been really good to kind of eat a lot better and things like that. You know, as this, this journey that I'm currently on progresses, I'll keep you guys updated. But I kind of want to share that because you can actually find, I think, personally my opinion, you can find some decent things in the store that are already prepared that you just kind of have to throw in the microwave. And you can keep it moving and just add some activity in that. And I think you guys, you know, you, you may see a change. So that's all I have to share for right now. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And there will be more content soon. Take care.